Guys, get ready. Second game of the Ultimate Madden Bowl, and we head inside the brand new. You can own this right now. Get, log in to Madden Ultimate Team, and you will get this. We head inside the all new Lexus Stadium inside of Madden NFL 24 as we kick off this first round matchup. Fancy and Abram for a spot in the quarterfinals. It will be Fancy with the ball first. As primetime will take this past the 25. Ooh. Some good blocking out there. Oh, yeah. To the 40, 40. Oh, Are we going to start this off with a fire play to the 40? What a kick return for Fancy. I don't know if I've ever seen a kick return that good to kick off a game. That was amazing. Fancy with a little bit of smirk. He knows that it's huge for him to start this game. Here we got Fancy's bio. Frisco, Texas. Drini kind of knows about Frisco, Texas a little bit. Jets offense playbook. Chiefs defensive playbook. Drini, you know Fancy pretty well. What are we going to see offensively out of that Jets playbook? Yeah, he's just going to run bunch strong all game. He runs a lot of corner routes, so, and then, like, from the corner routes, he's going to set you up from those corner routes, and then he's going to attack you with Durham with the running back streak and post route from RB. So that's pretty much all you're going to see from him in offense. Seems pretty basic, but it's really hard to stop. It's effective, yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. By the way, his favorite NFL player, Tony Romo. Oh, no, that's not a good player to be a favorite of. I mean, he chokes in the playoffs all the time. Don't yeah, don't kick any extra points. What a Dak love that, man. What a Dak love. He too, he too young to know about Tony Romo. <laughs> Take a look one more time at this kick return. It's just set up perfectly, TD, and a really nice juke move back to the outside. If he, if he doesn't run into his blocker, then he might be gone. Yeah, and, you know, the jukes have been so big in Madden 24. Any, you got to have Deion Sanders at kick returner, right? You just have to. Makes a big play to start it. Fancy locked in right there, but you got to think he feels a little bit of stress relief, right? You never really yeah. want to get the ball first either, Dreamy. You always want to get the ball second, get the ball to start the second half. But to get a big kick return is huge for his confidence. 100%. Getting ball first is a lot, it's a lot more stressful because getting stopped in Madden is much more impactful than scoring seven on Madden. So, like, getting the stop, in, like, if you're on defense, first uh, that can really change the game which does give you context for Wesley gets the ball first in that last game gets stopped for a field goal and then goes on to a dominant performance that, like that there had to be a lot of nerves when he didn't get in the end zone on that first drive. oh yeah you're nervous because if somebody come out there and get seven on you you're down <laughs> now you're behind the sticks now it's so much pressure on you you know just getting ball first it just feels like it's a setup first and 10 good field position at the 34 yard line CJ Stroud rolling right and he'll throw this one away so good defense early from Abram yeah, he, he has a scouting report. He knows Fancy likes to do corner outs, so he double flatted the safety side, put him in a purple, and it had a hard flat for the flat. Yeah, and Abram's really good at that. He's going to come out here, and he's going to double Mabel a lot. Oh, Looking over yeah. the top. That's a dangerous Ooh. throw. Right there, Fancy was just being greedy. He had the corner out wide open. He didn't double flat that time, but he got greedy. Is that the chess match we're going to see with Abram defensively, whether he double flats on that side or not? Well, that's what Fancy's trying to do. He tries to make people double flat so he can attack the middle. So it's just that's his game plan. For sure. Chess match of Madden, third and ten. Abram is actually a chess fan. Right? Def oh wow! Oh, man, he's gonna get the poor accuracy. We've did seen a couple poor accuracy throws. Did he throw that to the deep corner he instead threw, yeah. of the short? It looked like the deep corner. That was interesting. That was crazy. So a great kick return sets up good field position. Incomplete pass. Incomplete pass. Incomplete pass. And we go to fourth and ten, and it looks like Fancy's gonna send the offense out. Oh, he's in the offense out. Yep, he's oh, coming wow. out in a bunch. Okay. All right, big play early. And this is basically telling you how Fancy feels about his defense. He's not trusting his defense to get a, a stop, so three points to him feels like it's nothing. Looks like he's going to vertical. Stroud back to pass, steps up, nowhere to go. Oh. He gets held up by his own line and still finds the running back out of the backfield. James Cook, first down. That's great. That is amazing pocket by Fancy right there. And patience. He was never going to scramble. He just moved up in the pocket. You see Abram clicked the right stick in, sent the zone, and he just threw the running back street right behind him. Obviously, Drini, this is not a running game. But with the RPOs, how important is it to have at least some semblance of a running offense to set everything else up? Yeah, 100%. I mean, if you guys don't know, if you pass commit, uh, it lets like the blitz become better. So if you don't like really show your run game, you can, you're allowing someone to just pass commit every single play, and it you're just asking yourself to get screamed at and or to get fluked screamed at. So like having a run game to keep them off balance, uh, that's it's very important. Because yeah, if you run the ball against that pass commit, it's it's, it's like eight, touchdown. nine, ten yeah. yards, maybe more. Cook all the way down to the one yard line, third and goal. Back to the shotgun, trips over to the left side of the formation. Stroud will give this to James Cook. Cook, oh. nowhere to go. Fourth and goal, another fourth down. Four fancy, and he hurries back to the line. Yeah, looks like he's going to audible down here, maybe. No, he's going to go maybe back to inside zone. He loves this tray open in the red zone here. 
Solo receiver wide right, trips to the left side. He oh gives it to Cook. Little turtle inside. It wasn't easy off the great kick return, CTG. But Fancy finds six. Yeah, that just took a lot of guts right there by Fancy to just go for that and, and on both times, getting the fourth down. And if you Abram, why not recommend? You know, it's fourth and you at the inch line. Like, he ran the ball that many times. Sell out on the run the last play. If, they, if he throw and, and, and get a touchdown. Yeah. Exactly. Got it. And you know he doesn't feel comfortable passing from that tray open formation, right? So you, you know the run's coming 80% of the time right there. So I agree with you. you got to run him in that spot. Take a look at this replay. This is your fourth uh, and goal. It's a little too easy. That's just a bad situation of football by Abram. Like, just leaving your linebackers in coverage in a situation like that, you got to let them engage with the O-linemen. Well, for the first time, we get to see our belt winners from this year. It is none other than Abram. Different look... Drini, I was watching him live back there. This Bears playbook provides some really interesting plays. Yeah. Uh, I would say, like, Jets and Bears are pretty similar. Jets has a lot of formations and Bears has a lot of formations, but the way he plays, he audibles to these things that people usually don't see. Like, as a pro player, you like don't see these formations that he audibles to. So it's, like, definitely, like, more unique than uh, running Jets. But you're going to see – the only thing that Jets and Bears have in common is Bunch Strong. So that's, that's why you pick Bears. Yeah, you see, like, you get, you'll get that, like – quarterback sweep out of that one if you want to run the ball with the quarterback. The important note, he's not in the 4-6 playbook. He's actually in that Niners defensive playbook. Uh, that's what we'll see, but we get to see him on offense for the first time. So they'll set up in that bunch formation over to the right side. Dree Archer, remember he used Dree Archer a lot this year. Still using that Dree Archer at halfback. Also one of the few players using that Darius Hayward Bay wide left, and there is Hayward Bay with the catch, and he will turn up field, get to the 44-yard line, 19 yards in the first play of the game. Yeah, and Abrams loved the Chicago Bears playbook all year long. We talked about the bunch strong formation. He will also go to this tight slots, weak formation. You saw him go to that solo side, quick crossing route. You, you take all the offense going to the right side. He comes back <clears throat> to the back side, gets a big first down. Did you turn 80 years old in the middle of that sentence? <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> it's insane. Stroud, nowhere to go. It's the first time we're seeing the pressure get home for Fancy. And somebody like Abram, when you're playing against somebody like this, it's really hard to get a rep for him because nobody comes out here and plays like this. Nobody comes out and bears. And he audibles around, like Drini said, so much and will call random plays out of random formations. Back to pass is Stroud. Pressure right up the middle. And he finds that Dree Archer. Drini, I, I, this Dree Archer, an interesting choice. We're seeing almost everybody using Isaiah Pacheco or James Cook. What does this three archer give Abrams offense? Well, if he's using Ghost of Mutt Future, I don't know if he is, but uh, he basically gets a plus three speed boost if he, he is. is using him. So and he is, yeah. So he's basically 98 speed, and he also gets running back apprentice for one. So that's basically, but he's using Sadie Stroud, which is pretty confusing. Which is using up all your AP if you're using, what, set yeah. speed and has, hard master. He already player. has master, so you don't need running back appearance, so it's kind of confusing. But that speed is insane. The one downfall why people aren't using him is he has like 60 carrying, so he can fumble if he gets stripped. Now emptying the backfield for the first time. CJ Stroud back to pass over the middle. It's caught, and it is Megatron. We know that Megatron has pretty good hands. Yeah, he does. He's one of the best in this game. You see a lot of the guys rocking Calvin Johnson there at the receiver position. And Abrams look good here so far. He's not afraid to check it down. We seem to go to a few uh, flat passes underneath. Oh, no. oh that's a dangerous throw. Oh, but Kelsey skies for it. Like a rebound. Hakeem Olajuwon. Kelsey with a touchdown. Oh, we, can we pan the Taylor Swift? Can we pan the Taylor Swift right Where's, now? Ta where's Tay Tay? Where's yeah. Is Tay Tay in Lux the Stadium? What? Trini, you got the guts to throw that one? No. Back no. foot? Actually, I do, because sometimes I'll be blind, but... Okay, well... But, no, 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 no you do not want to make that blind is one great user? No. Hell. Ain't no, okay. I don't think nobody. Nobody that blind. <laughs> nobody that blind. <laughs> user is in a league of his own. Sanders. We're trying to shoot back outside. Another good return. Oh, my God. We might have something here to the 30-yard line. Take a look one more time at Stroud... With the, literally, Man. the prayer just... to Travis Kelsey. Now, Dre, I'm curious, that sort of play, obviously, I mean, a crazy play. Yeah. For Fancy, does that mess with you a little bit that he's able to get something like that where you feel like you had it stopped? Yeah, honestly, sometimes it gives you an excuse in the middle of the game. Like, you know, I've already tried to stop him. It's not letting me, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he, he has, like, an excuse built up. You know, but you do not want that to happen to you in a tournament game. Especially, like, with, I mean, how many times do you see Fancy at one for five to start the game passing? <laughs> Well, this is a guy who's a machine passing the ball. I feel like tournament settings change a couple of things. I mean, the pressure. Yeah, pressure. Not at home. Yeah, yeah. This is a different setting, so you know, definitely gonna play a lot different. Stroud in the shotgun. Zay Flowers solo receiver. Stroud back to pass. Stepping right, throwing right, and there is Romeo Dot for a first down. 
Little dot to the right side, get the offense moving. I love that play there. Goes to that bunch, trying to get that quick, sharp cutting corner out. Kind of resembles, you know, Stick from the West Coast playbook. He's able to get out there for a big completion. Stroud back to pass. He's going to look once again, this time to the left side. It is Megatron with the catch. So, you know, two plays, ho hum, all the way down to the 22 yard line. And much like we saw in the first game, CTG, he's going to hurry up this offense and try to keep him on the heels. Yeah, the stem, with the way the stamina is, no, no penalty come out here and just no huddle. And keep him in the same defense. Keep his zone drops the same, which is key. So you know exactly what shell he has to give you. And, and, and Drini knows this as well. This gun bun strong, it's really hard to stop just coming out here and running strictly zone. you got to mix in some man to, to really counter these corner ups. Absolutely. Or, uh, or you have to double flat every play on that bunch strong. Because mm -hmm. Fenty... You, it's all about like tendencies. Fancy's like a, a big corner out guy, so you really have to force him out of it. And Fancy's really adapted well to Madden 24. You know, in years past, he's always a trips guy, right? And yeah, then yeah. he got, started to incorporate Bunch a little bit. But now you see him, you know, in, in Bunch Ooh. rolling, you see a little bit of trips. He's really adapted to the game well. There's the shed, the minister of defense, Reggie White, with the sack. And we get to the end of the first quarter. Seven apiece, your score. Third and 15. I think you got T because you, you went to 80 years oh, old. Oh, I turned into a robot. You got T and like seven cop. What's going on yeah. over here? It's game two. You can't be <laughs> like this already. Thank you, Jen. I appreciate it. All right, we got a long night. It's all right. Dreedy's going to take his spot. Hey, you had a good run, man. <laughs> nah. Enjoy your flight. We got a long got... week. <laughs> <laughs> three days to be back. Go to Vegas. We did one. First game. <laughs> second game. Third and 15. Stroud back to pass. Three man rush. Oh no. Right up the oh. Seat. He's looking for Cook. I don't think it was open. It. Oh, I don't like that. Poor actually, actually blessed him. That, was, that could have been a pick if that's on target. Absolutely. Like his user was really over that. It was Harold Carmichael, too. If you guys don't know Harold Carmichael, he's 6'8. And if he gets in the vicinity of catching the ball, he's going to catch it because he's just that much bigger than the receiver. As we take a look at our crowd here in Redwood Shores, California, a lot of names you're going to see tomorrow Kobo and Henry in the front row. <laughs> If you could just like get that jib camera like right up into their nose next time, that'd be really cool. Like just one time. <laughs> Wham! Good luck tomorrow. I might need that. Trini, Trini's calling out hits from the jib camera. <laughs> hey, I, I know who to get next. Here we go, here we go. All right, first and ten for Abram. Very different offenses right now. Fancy struggling a little bit to find some rhythm. Whereas Abram hey, got blessed a little bit on that Travis Kelsey, but moved the ball hey, check that, check that. easily. Goes that tight formation. Stroud back to pass, pressure oh, in the oh, middle, oh, 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 oh. but DHB makes the catch, and fans can't believe he didn't get the click on. And guys, we've seen a lot of risky passes in this game. You know, a couple from both guys, another one there for Abram. Yeah, and it's all the pressure. The pressure is just speeding these guys up. You know, they're throwing the ball when they really don't want to, but you don't want to take a sack on this game. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm seeing that they cannot pick up this pressure. It was last game, now this game too. It seems like this dollar blitz is giving a lot of people problems. First and ten. Already in opposing territory at the 39-yard line. Uh, Back to pass. Stroud's going to take it. off. Nicarito, Nicarito, Good user. It was a tough uh, situation for his user right there. He had to guard the drag and the post. He had to it was really leak good out, user. Yeah, leak out it's, the right it's time. It's got to be frustrating when you know that you had a good user and he still picked up nine yards with CJ oh, yeah. Stroud. Second and one. Loves that flat. That quick flat route. So who else? Prime time. Man, he goes to that a lot. He goes to that trips tight end flex formation. Just puts his slot receiver on a flat. If there's no flat defender over there, he'll just check it down for an easy completion. And the one thing about Abram that I'm looking at is he likes to, you know, start off compressed, and then he has other formations that are compressed, and then he has other oh, formations that are spread out. So he's giving you multiple looks. Yeah, and it's hard to set your zone drops for somebody like this because you don't never know what formation he's going to come out in. It's a lot and easier. he's hurrying up every play, so you don't even have that opportunity. And he's hurrying up, so you yeah, you don't have the opportunity to even set him pre-play. I actually like this play. Attacks multiple levels. Right side, he'll throw to the flat, mm -hmm. Dree Archer. Boy, you're seeing mm -hmm. that speed that Dree Archer has in play. That juke move seems just a little quicker. Yeah, that's at 98 speed. He's 5'10", I believe, or 5'9". Oh, actually, he's 5'8", so... I'm taller than Dre Archer, everybody. Let's go. That ain't that short. No, 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 I don't think so. I'm 5'10". I don't think 5'8 short. I mean, definitely taller than user, right? Like, oh, wow. Uh, right up the uh, side. Ooh, high throw. Yeah, right there, he freeformed it. You cannot freeform it right there. Or just, else you just got a high throw without freeforming. Yeah, so that's the reason he just overthrew that right there. Look at this. I'm Look pretty, at all the formations he's I'm using. pretty sure Fancy hasn't played against this formation all year. So, like, you have to be prepared for a lot. Oh! Oh! Stop, bro. And his wheel route stopped stop. running. Bro, stop. I don't even know. Bro. He had a wheel route up the scene. He was trying to throw so in and just it just stopped so against the sideline. 
I know fancy stress right now, but if he does catch a pick, that's gonna be so much relief. <laughs> oh yeah, he get one pick. Yeah. He's using this angle route out of the backfield. Let's see what he does with Archer on this play. Ooh. Let's do a wheel route over to the left side. Third and ten. Pressure down goes Stroud. Dre Greenlaw in the backfield. And how about the field and fence? It gives up a bunch of yards, but is able to get the stop and hold Abram to a field goal. This is literally like a mirror match. Fancy gets seven, Abram gets seven. Fancy get three, Abram oh, get three. Stop, this is whoever bro. breaks the curse first. Yeah, and you see on these big downs, and we saw this last game in West too, these guys are using the DN, you know, using that lurk artist. So they're still sending for it technically, yeah. and they're still being able to get back and, and cover routes and still have an extra man in coverage. And it's really, it's giving players problems. We'll settle for his field goal. A reminder to everybody out there, make sure you're using that hashtag Madden Bowl. All throughout the broadcast, you might see your tweet along the bottom of the screen. Uh, use that hashtag Madden Bowl. Let's get Madden Bowl trending. We got three days this week. We got a day next week in Vegas. Let's get it trending every one of those days. Appreciate you guys. And let us know who you think is coming home with the first ever Madden Bowl ring. How was that? I mean, that ring Oh kind of nice. No, that's one of the craziest things. Like, belt, a belt has never given me that feeling that I had when I held that ring, so... Uh, that's Belts are cool, but mm. the ring. Imagine like having three of them things in your hand. Like, no, <laughs> no, that would just be ridiculous. Imagine going out in public. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, three of them on your Imagine hand. winning that and getting to go out in Vegas and just with the ring. The only one. The only I mean, one right in now. World. <laughs> in the world. A lot of Super Bowl rings out there. The only one Madden Bowl ring. They said the person who was making it was making Ooh. Super Bowl rings. Justin's. Too. Yeah, Justin's designed 37 different Super Bowl rings. I mean, and one Madden Bowl ring. Yeah. So, I mean, to, to get do. that, <laughs> that's insane. It shows you, I mean, you've, been, you've now been playing this game for a long time. Clef, you've been playing this game for a long time. How far this game has come to where we are now? Yeah. Actually insane. Romeo Dobbs the catch of the fly. Pick up the first. That animation gets me every time. I mean, that's a spine buster. I saw Triple H with that. This game, this game has came a long way when it comes to the MCS. I ain't going to lie, like. Before in the Madden Bowl, you wasn't making, you wasn't making like, you could, you're you making, lucky. Li yeah, you're making life changing money, but this is like life changing, life changing money. Like, like Fancy is at 250K, and I feel like he hasn't even made a finals. So you know, like, you, 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 you were not as 250K unless you made, unless you won multiple belts. I just remember goals. back in like, I think it was 19. Yeah, it was 19. I remember looking at the end of the year and being like, who won like the second most money this year? And it was Ivy Strafen. Yeah. He finished second in the clubs. Yeah, and he had like 80,000. It was 80,000, but like that was the clubs was the big one. And now we got, you know, the Madden Bowl end of the year. We're crowning the best Madden player of the year. Yeah. Uh, it just shows you the, where the game has gone. Yeah. And a credit to those, not just those who are pushing it now, but those before us, having a guy like RG around. Yeah. RG was playing back when Madden was played. I think they were drawing it on stone tablets or something. <laughs> I'm playing a long time. Geologic. I'm glad he can't hear me. That's what's, that's what's important. <laughs> Third and three, 40 seconds left in the first half. Stroud back to pass for Fancy. Oh, Throws it read. left side. Nice throw. Damn. Travis Kelsey with the catch. Fights through a couple tackles. Damn. I don't know about you guys. Broken tackles are cool until you take that second hit, and then you get really scared. 100%. That's, that's where I feel like most fumbles come from, where you break the first tackle, and then someone else is coming with, and they're just holding the RB button. They look like they're just loading up for a strip. That's, that's scary. That little peanut punch animation. Yeah. You be locked in. Every time you get tackled on this game, you be locked in to what animation about to happen. You go, like, please don't give me no strip animation. 34 seconds left. Stroud back to pass on first down. He'll look left side and find Zay Flowers out of bounds. Pick up seven. Keep that drive movement as we head under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Yeah, although uh, Fancy has scored on both drives, they weren't like the best drives. Mm, they were not. So I like how he's mixing up now, uh, mixing up a little tight offset. Just give a different look. To, uh, this feels like his best drive so far. Oh, yeah. It feels at least like, I don't know, feels calmer. And that's great defense. Really good defense. Nowhere to go. And a good throw away from Fancy. 10-10. And we talk about identical yeah. drives so far. Yeah. The biggest thing right here is Fancy wants seven. Like, he needs seven because Abram's going to get the ball right out of half, and you do not want to give him a lead at all. He's looking right up oh, the seam to Cook, Ooh. but the KO knocks it out. Fourth and three. Decision time. Do you kick your three here or you bring out the offense? You, you have to kick three. You have to kick three here because the odds of you getting seven with 18 <laughs> seconds left, and it's going to be less than 18 once this ball is now. 
And it's just, the Ricks don't out the way to rule. I got bad news I for just, you. I, and he's going. He's looking like Dan Campbell right <laughs> I'm now. I'm lost for it. I can't even speak. Dan Gamble going for it. Oh. Fourth and three. This, this, don't make no this sense. is a crazy play for a fourth and three. I ain't going to lie. He used a rush up the middle, and it was picked up, but it's picked off by Jackson. Bo Jackson out of position the other way. Uh, Jackson up to the 25. They'll call it I, the 27-yard line. I, I don't like that play at all for a fourth and short distance. I feel like that play is like a first and ten, second and ten type of thing where you have more chances, and this is just a chance of bombing. Like, yeah. it's like a one-play touchdown kind of thing. And he had none but short routes besides, you know, the post. And the thing is, think, say if he catches that ball. Now it, it's now what? nine seconds left. Yeah. Like, what are you – you still going to end up probably taking three anyway. Just take your points. The worst part about the interception is Abram might take the lead right now. So it, it really could. could. This could be this could be. Game you can game. use the whole field as he's got three timeouts in his pocket, but only nine seconds on the clock. No motion Sanders out of that trips to the wide right. Stroud pressure up the middle. It is that pressure is home every play right now. It's it's coming in. This is consistent. Is he just gonna take a knee? Oh, I don't know. Uh, oh, he actually oh, is. No, you can't do that, Abram. You never if, know. If you have gift wrap, which they do, CJ Stroud gets gift wrap for free. I would throw up a Hail Mary every single time. You got to. It's about how many Hail Marys we've seen this oh. year, you have to at least give it a try. How many quarterback meals have we seen in the MCS at halftime? <laughs> it can't be that many. No, I've never seen it. Never seen it. 10 10 your score. We head to the second half. Uh, and you mentioned this, Drini. Abrams getting the ball here. This seems like, you know, especially in a game that ends up tied at halftime, this drive right here could change the entire complexion of the game. Oh, absolutely. Whatever Abram does right here is going to uh, change how fancy attacks the game. If he scores seven, Fence is going to be on his, like, you know what I'm saying? He's going to be scared, so, yeah, he's going to have to get a stop. Drinia, you're looking, uh, do you like playing, would you prefer to be playing on day one? Do you like the day off first? Uh, I know Clef's a guy, Clef always says he wants to, he wants to play. He want to yeah. be day one. I feel like the longer you wait, just more anticipation for the game and just, like, more stress, so I'd rather just get it out the way whenever you can. Let me know what's going to happen to me. Like, let me figure it out early what's going to happen to me. Don't make me wait I, around. I feel like uh, if I was to win next game, I, like, I feel like I can bring off, I can build off that momentum, I can win the tournament. So I think that first game is always the most important to me. Now, Drini, you know, we got to put you on the hot seat. Do you have a prediction right here between these two? I mean, tie game, 10 10 and a half. We, you know, it's been a little bit of a rough first half. Notice yeah. Ty hasn't made a single prediction, but he throws Drini <laughs> a lot. Of course, I'm going to I'm gonna take, uh, I'll take it. I'll take fancy to this game. Woo, big knockout. Now fourth and 13. What a way to start this drive with some defense. All of a sudden, if fancy gets a stop here, because I, I have a feeling the punt unit's not coming out. And right now, I know he was wishing that he took his three with a stop on the way, it looks like at least. Going up 10 points instead of seven if you do end up getting a stop. That's cheap. Going to go to tight, two wide to the left side, one to the right side. Travis Kelsey on the right side of that formation. Now, Dree Archer splits out of the backfield, wide right, empty backfield for the Ohio State grad. C.J. Stroud, the presumptive rookie of the year. Stroud back to pass. Pressure picked up. Stroud Zion. rolling right. Stroud Zion. throwing right Zion. for Megatron, and it's completed. That's, oh. that's a great play. The KO lit up, but you mentioned that sideline oh animation will get God. you through that. Yeah, man, 24, if you patient enough and, and lead your receiver out of bounds and he get that, that Tony toe tap animation, even if the ball is dropped, they're going to call that a catch every time. And great patience and pocket by Abram improvising yeah. and getting out of the pocket, throwing that corner out. It was great awareness. He is not throwing that ball unless he was outside the pocket, so it was just smart by him to get out of there. Ooh, oh, fancy has some words. <laughs> He's got some words over there. That's, uh, Drini, that's something, I mean, you know, as you won your belts in the, in the live atmosphere, it's just totally different playing yeah. here on the main stage versus being, you know, we were home for three years. Absolutely. Uh, playing at home is just, you just feel way too comfortable. It's like, not even, I felt like there was no pressure. Even when, you know, I was playing those uh, live event games like a year ago, it just didn't, it, it just didn't feel the same. It doesn't feel the same. I can tell you, I, I don't know about Ty, but I was wearing gym shorts every single every, broadcast. <laughs> oh, every time. Every broadcast. Every we were so time. comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes pajamas. Business yeah, sometimes up top. Basketball shorts. Yeah, <laughs> see, I was just wearing up. suits up top. And oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Dangerous throw in the track. That should have been insane, big. Bro. That's not like, leading. Fancy is feeling like this he's on insane. fire right now. He just hasn't gotten the this pick for the 17. Come on, That's Malik Hooker. Oh, you, you feel for fancy right there. You going, you want that pick. You want that, that. And that's probably a pick six, too. All new Lexus Stadium. You can earn this right now. Log into Ultimate Team. You can earn that Lexus Stadium. Big shout out to Lexus, the official sponsor of the Ultimate Madden Bowl. Fourth and 17. Expect uh, fancy to utilize zone drops right here, putting his purples or flats on 20, 25 around there to make sure a deep corner out does not get open. Already got beat once by a corner out. Can he stop it the second time? Bunch over to the right side, the short side of the field. 
Archer in the backfield. Archer stays back to block. Pressure brought left side. That one's nowhere close. And Fancy gets the stop, and he feels like it's deserved. And phenomenal defense right there. You see him send that left slot, blitzing DB as well to go with the loop. Abram had no answer for it. I like sending pressure in that situation on fourth and 17. It comes up big for Fancy. Yeah, that's a good mix-up because a lot of people like to drop back and make sure that, you know, they have the right zones out there. Fancy was out here. Just he puts aggressive uh, pressure on him. What's going so on? Out, but that's right. Poor accuracy. Mm. That happens a lot when you step back or step to the left or right. So there's this thing, uh, you, I guess you can blue passes and you, yeah. all that is just... It's negative. how long you hold the button. Like you yeah. see that, you'll see the little meter pop up for the quarterback. We're just so used to hammering on that button for a bullet pass, but you can't do that as much oh, this year. No. Oh, oh, man. Oh, no. That no. was not open, and that one is picked <laughs> off. So stop one way, stop the other way. Abram get the interception. You mentioned him... You mentioned him a couple times. That Peppers out there, out of position, is so tough to play against. How, how could you not have Julius Peppers out there? <laughs> Six foot seven at corner? Are you kidding me? Comes up big, big play for Abram. And a lot of people have moved on from him because of the playoff promo that's came out. A lot of people, I, he's the only one I've seen out here. Wits, looking at these rosters, Wits still Peppers out there playing. What was? I mean, that wasn't open. I, I, I'm curious what he thought he saw. Was he hoping for the Travis so, Kelsey play the other way? Usually when he calls flood, uh, there's this fade route from B, and he usually runs off the thirds and runs off the quarters. Right there, uh, maybe he just has a glitchy adjustment, but he, it was more of a trust throw than, rather than seeing if he was open. Seeing if it was open. Yeah. 10-10 our score. Coming up next, Justin and Mr. Football. Hey, man. Hey, John. What's up, Wes? Looking comfortable out there, you see. Two <laughs> of those competitors, they're coming up next. Could y'all sit with y'all opponent in the same lounge before y'all about to play? I don't know if I can do it. I can't do that. Oh no. I'm I'm gone. If I lose, y'all won't see me again. I'm, I'm Justin in '88, right there. Oh God. Could you be? There? Could you and Gabagol be right there? I don't even think I've said a word to him this whole time. <laughs> That's crazy, man. What's going on? Who have you talked to? Talk about who you have talked to. Hold on. Yeah, Dreedy's got a little bit of that old school. Dreedy, Dreedy since I haven't said a word to Gabriel. I don't think he's talked to anybody. I think he's talked to us. No, uh, I'm not even kidding. I've talked to Clef maybe like, I've had one interaction with Clef. I think that's more than the majority of these people. And yeah, and yeah, this is the guy we're like, let's put him on the desk, man. He's such a talkative guy. Let's put him out here. <laughs> Hey, I, I've been asking for this opportunity. I, I appreciate y'all letting me on. Hey, dreamy has got to say, he, he's not here to make money. I mean, he's not here to make friends, Dreamy. What do you He's mean? actually here to make money. <laughs> he know. just says he's not here to make money. Uh-oh. I'll cut here. I came here to sneak my way into the booth. I ain't going to lie. 10-10, <laughs> your score. Bunch short side of the field. Dre Archer still out there for Abel. Nice drive so far to the 24-yard line. Mm. And a throw to the flat. It is Dre Archer. Big hit, but... Man, that 60 carrying looking pretty good right now. But this game is showing me that like rep games and all these other games really don't mean much because every other game I watch Fancy, he's putting up 40. Yeah. So it's like it's just a different atmosphere. Atmosphere is really kind of getting to him. Under guys, Lexus is your presenting sponsor of the Ultimate Madden Bowl. Stroud rolling right. Nice click. Little playmaker. Oh, play. Little playmaker. That, I mean, those are the plays. That play's not going to show up as a big play. It's not going to show up as a turnover. But that was elite defense. That was elite defense. Great stick work right there, clicking onto the user. Because, you know, Abram was thinking about throwing that. And fancy clicking on right there took that away. Phenomenal user. And it almost, in a way, took away the run because all of a sudden mm -hmm. he's drifted to the sidelines. He just throws that one away. Third and five. As we near the fourth quarter, we've got no scoring here in the third. Let's see if Fancy can't get another stop. Looking up the seam. Mm. Kelsey completes it through the contact. A very underrated ability right there is mid zone. A lot of people don't like putting that on the outside cornerbacks, but a lot of people who run 6 1 do. And it's super annoying because stuff like that would be knocked out from the outside cornerbacks. A lot of people like the deep outs, but it's just kind of useless when. So you see that in the 6 1, you'll see those outside corners play the. Oh, yeah, yeah. Zone. Like when they try to throw in, in between zones, they'll try to knock it out. Well, if there's somebody who's really good at finding gaps in the zones, it's big number 87. No Stroud way. rolling left. He oh, oh is it back oh. right? Yeah, Kittle. Kittle. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, Dreeny, is that in your playbook? No, I don't got that. Not running that one? I, I wish the I did. pull out left tight end screen? <laughs> I didn't think he was going to hike that. I thought he was going to take it down. He actually ran the, the tight end screen right there. Was that jailbreak tight end screen? This dude has ran every play. <laughs> I promise you. He's ran every play. There's like, nothing else to run. That, there's nothing he hasn't ran. He might have he's ran that play books. before. I promise. He probably ran that play a hundred times. Dude, <laughs> he, plays, he plays the game, and he's been running bears all year. But that is a crazy that's that's a crazy play. That's one of the that's one of the pros of just staying in one book the whole year. You, you can get find the, everything. You just yep. find everything. Yep. It's like you've tried 
every play at least once. And yeah. then some of them you're like, I'm going to keep. I mean, look at this. Rolls out left, throws it back across his body, sets up the screen. I mean, he almost scores here. Yeah. yeah. And screens are so good down here inside this because they let you roll out easier. You know, the protection just lets you get outside the pocket. Go back. Is this really mm. tight? Get away. You guys Those don't know Derek about that Vita Vey. He is a is tough. zero AP red zone stopper. I forgot what that name was. It's like something about red zone stuff. Red zone stuff. Yeah, yeah. it literally. But Kittle out there wide. Ooh. This corner route. R1. Oh he oh, runs it man. inside and it's dropped. That's a corner route. What? He was a corner. Oh, I saw the play art. It was a corner route to Tony G. Gosh. He almost ran it like that a streak. Is a corner route. Like yeah, that was very interesting. It looks like the route, the the depth of the route. He hit the back line of the end zone and just sort of. It's like, no, nah, I'm not going to run that. I'll stay inside. Yeah. He's up as good. Abram settles for three. This is one of the most entertaining low-scoring games. What is this? Like, what is going on? Yeah, it's a lot going on. It's because they're driving, and they don't, they're just not ending up getting points. So it's like, it seems like a high-scoring game, but it isn't. And, and Fancy's in a real weird spot here. This is this is territory where do I want to make this the last drive, or do I just want to push and go get seven? Does it, doesn't it feel like if he's able to get seven, that might be game? These guys are not scoring touchdowns. Yeah, they're playing great red zone defense. When they need stop, Look at they this. Watch the, It's supposed to be a corner out. He gets bumped off the corner out early. It almost worked out for him. It almost did. But yeah. Abram was like, I thought that was going outside. It went inside. That was a deep. That was about the deepest sigh of relief. <laughs> First and ten for Fancy. Back with the ball, down by three. He throws that corner out. That's been open a couple of times. He's going 8 of 20 past the ball with two picks. Yeah, that's unlike him. That's unlike Fancy, right? He's but going, he's in this game. He's, he's throwing two picks yeah, in this he's game. he's right in it. You just got to figure out. This is those moments, too, that we talk about Fancy, right? We use that word fold, but these are the moments where Fancy can change, you know, his, his perception that people think of him, and he throws a bean right on cue. How good are these running back routes this year? Seems the little drags. Like, it seems like that opens your offense. I feel like running back routes are good, but they're really, really good when they're like, it's like a bunch strong or a bunch strong nasty where there's three receivers on the same side as the running back because the routes from the receivers open up the running back. It like, they pull everything. Yeah, they pull everything. Scott stepping up. He can take off if he wants it, but oh, he's no. going to throw it. He throws oh. it to Dobbs. It's oh. not open, and it gets knocked out. Good night, I guess. Good night, I guess. That seemed like Clef a moment he probably should have just scrambled with CJ Stroud and picked up eight. Yeah, just take what's there. What's, take what's there. You know, you're in a good spot right here. You only down three. You got the ball. You in control of your own destiny. You really don't need seven that quick. It ain't, that, that wasn't worth the reward. Uh, the left side. Kelsey makes the catch in tight coverage, 35. Yeah, Abram's just making him work. He's just he's uh, this, taking away his <laughs> favorite attribute. Making him work is the right word. These drives, they're... They do not feel smooth at all. And, and Fancy's almost saying, I need to get seven territory. You don't want to get this ball back. Right at the seam, he's got Cook. Good possession catch there for first and goal. Do you find these games, TD, more stressful when, like, no offense is working versus, like, a, a, a shootout that's 35-35? I don't like to be in shootouts. I mean, that's just my You'd prefer this I, game. I prefer this, right? Slow it down a little bit. But that's a nice dot right there from Fancy. And the possession catch was critical. That's a tough throw to Kelsey. You see right there, that was almost completed because the height of these players. This is this is one of the reasons why I use Ghost in my uh, future, just because I get to use the 6'8", 6'7", you know, Randy Moss, you know, like the tall guys that would am animate Height, those. and Green, you know height has been important in Madden forever, right? Yeah. Height is always so important with these receivers and tight ends. Yeah. One of the greatest users ever was Anthony Barr, mainly because of his height, so mm -hmm. height is a big difference when it comes to animating. Post routes over the middle. Stroud back to pass three-man rush. Good defense. Nothing really. Oh, late break from Cook. Ooh. Little jump move inside. And Fancy finds the end zone. Oh, Fancy takes out his do-it-yourself kit. A little freestyle right there. The patience goes to the running back, and that's a massive touchdown. And that was third down, so. It, it, it could be a tie game yeah. if he doesn't get that. You, Instead, he's got a lockdown on defense for two minutes and 39 seconds. Pick, bro, How big, one. though, is that, like, he's got a four-point lead. That's yeah. a big difference from a three-point lead. Yeah, and uh, the worst thing you can ever do is be on defense in a tie game with only, like, two minutes left. It's, like, it's, so, it's, so, it's damn near impossible to, like, get a stop. Yeah. And this great pocket right here this little fantasy. This little playmaker inside and then that little sidestep juke move, James Cook for six. Hmm. Playmaker was huge right there. A little freestyle action. And now all the pressure in the world here shifts to Abram. $25,000 game right here. And he's going to this clocking mode. He's trying to make this the last possession. He wants to get seven to win. Ooh, shakes all the oh. There goes Henry. Oh, Henry's is... got green grass. Little oh. Oh. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 
ridiculous, man. Ring, 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 house call. Nah, I know he just gave up a long run, but I don't know if that's the worst thing that can happen for fantasy. I'm not going to lie. Andrina, you got competition. That, field, that, might, that, that might be better than the You said that right? everybody... That, that might be better. In that Rojo Madden millionaire, you said everybody does juke moves on you. You just hit it right there on fantasy. With these stakes. That, that, that I wanted to say play of the year, but the, the King run, I don't know. It's close. Yeah, it's, it's, close. close. It's, close. it's fine. We don't bring it's it up. Not. It's fine. We want him to hang out. Oh, oh, man. Man. But the King did like five jukes and two journals in one that was play. Act, that was, yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. That was crazy. Shout out to the King. I mean, it, it does, that doesn't feel like, though, it's that bad of an outcome for Fancy, right? No, 100%. Because now he gets 225 as we take a look one more time. A little stretch run. Boom. Get oh, off. we got truck two. two. Shoot. And then here it comes. This man's got a family. Put him on a poster and see you later. Nasty stick work. The truck, then the journal. The journal is just. And it's the timing of the journal. He, he journaled yeah. before he actually yes. got to him. Great so, point. Perfect. So it was smart by him. It was just a crazy timing. Here we go. I mean, talk about Guap Drive. This is it. Needs a field goal to send it to overtime. Touchdown to possibly win. Looks right up the seam. That's been his money play so far. Even though that got knocked out, that's what Abram's going to have to key in on because when he's needed a big play, it's been James Cook on that running back streak. Yeah, and for fancy, if, if you were to ask him a question before the game, do you, game on the line, do you want to be on offense or do you want to be on defense, he would say, I would be on offense 100% of the time. So I think he'd rather have this situation than uh, be on defense. And if we find a corner out here. Ooh. Ooh. Adam. Takes him over the top. It's Megatron. It's the first time we've seen that second level corner out be open. He'll be able to take this to the two minute warning. 37 yard line. He's in field goal range. But you know he's thinking about six, TD. 100%. And you got to talk about the free form right there. You know, if you got, if your viewers are out there and you haven't mastered the free form, you haven't learned how to do Practice it. Practice now. That right there was a perfect example. Because if you throw that regular, that's probably a pick. But he free forms it up the field, puts it in the bucket, precision pass. Fancy doing great things. Two minute warning gives the ball to James Cook. And James Cook, not quite Derrick Henry. And you see Fancy already thinking, and this is the last drive. You know, even if I take three right here, I'm going to take I want this three. to be the last drive, yeah. Yeah, I want this to be the last drive. So he's, he's kind of putting himself in a, in a good position where he can take this overtime through. Some of those corner routes right side again. The clock down to one. Stroud pressure right oh. up the middle. He sidesteps him. He's got square oh. open. He's got flowers. First down. Duke move outside. Goes down inbounds. First timeout taken by Abram. Now that was a crazy, that was a crazy user rush. But Ooh. if he had a lurk artist on the guy he clicked onto, pick. that's a pick. So he he ended up clicking onto Vita Vey, who doesn't have lurk artist, and he just threw it easily. Oh, oh wow. It was to cook up the oh. middle, and he scores. Touchdown, fancy. He retakes the lead, but he leaves time on the clock. What a second half, boys. What a what, second Where was this half. the first half? <laughs> These boys were just saving it for a final 10 minutes. But but like Drini said earlier, if you're Abram, you rather have this. You don't want somebody scoring on you with 10 seconds left. Like, at least here you get a chance, just like how fancy got a chance. You'd rather the touchdown come early than later. I was expecting uh, Fancy to fall down and make it a second of inches. Because yeah. at the very least, you know, you're, you're down three. You can kick three if worst comes to worst. So, like, you might as well clock out the game and make it the last. Especially when he went down inbounds with Flowers. I thought, this is definitely just going to go down right there. But instead, mm. he takes the touchdown. Yeah. And this is scary. You, well, look at John, you saw John Beast. He was saying, why? Yeah. Why score? Yeah. yeah. There's no point. I mean, of course he scores to take the lead. But if we're talking about probability to win the game, I think going down a second inches gives you the highest chance. Ocean 10, Stroud back to pass. There's that pressure up the middle. Stroud rolls right. Uh, he'll pick up about eight, nine yards on the right sideline. Minute 10 to go. Two timeouts left for Abram. Yeah, and that two timeouts is important, right? This is probably his last chance here. If he, if he turns the ball over or, you know, goes three and out, you've got to go for it because two timeouts, not enough time to get back on defense and get a stop. The biggest thing is he went out of bounds, so he got a couple yards, got out of there, stopped the clock. Second and one. Oh, running the ball. On the ground, three, Archer. Oh. Oh. I'm not a fan of running the ball right there. You're wasting time. At least you can, you know, pass the ball. You can get big yarded. You can go out of bounds. Bunch to the short side. Come here. Pressure up the middle. Quick throw to the flat. It is Archer once again. At least that sort of play. You're still getting it in Archer's hands. Picking up seven, but getting out of bounds. 51 seconds left. Absolutely. I know Fancy is absolutely yeah. shook this right now. This is the now. scariest place mm -hmm. to be in man of 24. What's the heart rate like right now? It's out the roof. Being on defense and being on hands team. Uh, the two scariest things in Madden 24. Yeah. 
corner out got oh. open. He threw it late, oh. and Kelsey makes yeah. another big catch. Madden 09 rocket catch? <laughs> Is he rocket catching out here, TV? He's Madden 09 rocket catching. He throws it across oh, his body. Cross body, cross field. Always a no-no. Clicks on, gets the animation, the user catch. Wow. Oh, oh my God. Oh. He's nice. got him. Prime time. Touchdown, but still 40 <laughs> seconds on the clock. This, this is the longest two minutes in Madden history. What is this, guys? This is actually nuts. Only the second game of the Madden Bowl, and it's a barn burner. It's a classic. <laughs> it's funny because you think these are like just knockout blows, but actually it just ends up. He actually just gets up at the count of eight and keeps fighting. <laughs> yeah. Here's all I'm saying. If Abram comes away with a win today, he must go buy a Travis Kelsey jersey and root for the Chiefs yeah. in the Super Bowl, right? Yeah, this is wild. <laughs> Now he's getting crazy animations from him, but I'm not going to lie. Getting seven right here is tough, but getting three with 40 seconds and three timeouts, it gives him a lot of room for yeah. error, and it's, he still can definitely get it. Coach Prime with the catch. And, Nick, you know, what are the two best words in competitive Madden? Nick's here. Oh, guap drive? Is what you were looking for, exactly. guap drive? How many we <laughs> oh, I'm do? sorry. What I meant to say was user's gone. <laughs> My bad. Stroud back to pass. Oh, shoot. No. Got him. He's got Kelsey. First oh, down doesn't get out. What an animation on the oh, sideline. So but he does have a full combat at the time. It doesn't kill him. Thing, but man, you thought he was just going to walk out of bounds. It just, it just hurts his chances of getting seven. That's really it. He's still in an easy position to get three. It's just it's going to be a lot harder to get seven burning that timeout. I feel like both these guys are, are, are going to end up regretting not falling down. Like, just you got to just try to clock the game. I know. Would you fall down if you were Abram there, like at the one yard line? I would probably, I mean, yeah, I, I think I would. I'm not going to lie. Look at that deep corner out to Megatron with the catch, Ooh. but he drops it. It's knocked out. The KO lit up. Julius Peppers prying that one free. And it's scary every time the ball is loose because there's all these pick artists just, now and just an easy scoop up if they're a little the, scoop. Yeah. So lucky for uh, Fancy. Or lucky for Abe. Or yeah, Fancy that there's no pick artist there. Bunch to the right side. Zay Flowers alone to the left side. Nice Pressure check. off that left side. Good recognition there from Fancy. And we'll get out of bounds. 33. That Carmichael user is so good. Oh, yeah. So good. I think he's the greatest user in this Madden right now. Can you feel the energy in the room pick up a little bit? Absolutely. The boys are talking out there. <laughs> They're so locked in right now. Every single person is leaning forward except for maybe Henry. <laughs> Henry has not need to lock in like that. It's also worth to know, I don't think he can, I, I don't think he can no, kick no, from no. the 45. He might be able to, but. I don't think so. Wait. So high. No. Oh, this is first animation. Bro, he had the crosser too. Did you see the crosser over the field? He's going for it. God, bro. I think you have to, right? Yeah, I, mean, I don't think there's 62 in yeah, the leg. This is it. Only two time modes. And we saw fourth and short earlier. He ran all short routes, got boxed. Yeah. What does he have here? Hopefully. Yeah, please don't call that trail play. There you go. Stroud back to pass. Oh, He's got the straight left side and say Fancy takes the lead. A straight up street crowd. Come on. <laughs> and that's like a mistake by Abram. You do not man up that solo side receiver without support. You have to either third and quarter and do anything other than a man to man. Press, press man. That is just a big. Is that mistake. the easiest read, man, when your man just burns the press coverage? There's and, nothing else to read. And There's, that's that moment you can't make that mistake. If you see it, just whoops him off the line. Yeah. And it was beautiful defense other than that. Like, one that little mistake, it was beautiful defense other than that. Yeah. And like Drenny said, nobody runs man solo side this year. Everybody thirds or quarters. You never run You never run that without having help over the top. Whew. Abram needs a miracle because he needs six. And he only has 13 seconds left. Stroud back to pass. Quick throw to the right oh. side. It's Megatron. Picks up nine. All he could do is just try to get a little closer for like a Hail Mary. Yeah. Does he have they got gift wrapped? If he's using uh, Stroud, he, he definitely nope. has it. Yep, he has it. Oh, right shoot. up the seam. It's Megatron. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> I mean. That's, that's, that's scary. I lost all words for a second there. Here he's There was a journal and a broken tackle and made them like that like this. Is it, is it possible to get two chances at a Hail Mary with six seconds? I don't think I think he got one chance. That's not one chance. And it's like fancy probably going to Chance, blitz him. one shot. He's going hail Mary, too, it looks like. It's like he's going to blitz him, which is scary. RB. Get out. Get out. Archer with the catch. Two seconds. One oh. second. One second. One play. For one spot in the quarterfinal. 
Do you hail Mary here? I think you, you could call it. I, like I think you can call a regular play, you right? You're 35 yards. Yeah. If, you could, something here. if you could roll out, you could definitely throw a deep corner over a 30. Yeah. This is what the Madden Bowl is. What do you all use? About. Your, what's your user plan here? You, he's oh, going Hail Mary. He's going Hail Mary, but if there's a deep corner, I'm definitely going he's to. Blitzing it. him too. Pressure off the edge. Wait. It's Megatron what? Journal, oh. and he's taken down to the 14-yard line, and that wraps up. What a first-round game from these two. Fancy is on to the quarterfinals. CTG, it wasn't easy, but he's locked a spot in the quarters.